I like the Ultra Pulse laser because I'm familiar with it, number one. I've had one version of the Ultra Pulse or another since 1994, so it's become my go-to CO2 laser. And why do I like it? Because it's very versatile. I can use it with different hand pieces to accomplish lots of different things. I can use a very small hand piece if I want to treat very focal lesions. I can use the scanner, which is the active FX scanner, to do generalized resurfacing. And if I want to do deep resurfacing for acne scars and deeper wrinkles, I can also use the deep FX scanner. Ablative fractional lasers differ from non-ablative fractional lasers by actually creating an open wound versus a closed wound. So the upside of that is you tend to achieve better results with less treatment sessions. Of course, the downside is there is some recovery time. Well, the Ultra Pulse laser, you can titrate that recovery time to two days to up to 10 days, depending on how aggressive you are with the settings. So if somebody comes in with severe photo damage, you can do a more heavy-handed treatment where the patient may require 10 or 12 days to recover but achieve very, very nice outcome with one treatment session. On the other hand, if somebody comes in who's, say, very young or very uh, slightly photo damaged, you can turn the density and the pulse energy down to, to such a low level that it can actually put makeup on in three to four days. The benefits of the Ultra Pulse is that it provides such a variety of treatment settings so that you can do uh, a full breadth of treatments from deep FX to active FX and you're able to titrate the level of treatment from very low uh, settings and very non-aggressive sessions to a more aggressive session with better one-time cosmetic enhancement. So the versatility of the device by adjusting the pulse energy and the treatment density, and in other words, the pitch between the spots, allows you to do a full range of treatment sessions or treatment settings and treat a whole range of patient ages from very young for acne scars to very old up to 80 or 90 with deep wrinkles. And the Ultra Pulse laser is very safe. Certainly like any laser, uh, it, it's safe as long as you use it within the recommended settings. And the safety typically is accentuated by the short pulse duration which allows for a very small zone of coagulation which allows the wound to heal very quickly. And secondly, uh, the settings can be adjusted to do very low densities and low pulse energies for rapid healing. So you allow, again, the versatility of being able to do very low settings or high settings depending on what you put in on the panel. So when we see a scar, there are lots of different treatment options. For a red scar, normally we would use either an IPL or a pulse dye laser, but as we go to scars that are not red or scars that have exhausted all of our treatment opportunities with uh, visible light technologies, then we'll go to a fractional laser. And we'll either use a non-ablative fractional technology or an ablative fractional technology. When we do an ablative fractional laser, and these are the toughest scars, we tend to use the deep FX handpiece with conservative settings and multiple sessions spaced about four to six weeks apart. And that tends to achieve nice improvement in the scar as far as the homogeneity of the scar and pigmentation and also flattening the scar and improving the tone and texture and even the range of motion with some of these very thick scars. So thermal damage is an important uh, part of most laser resurfacing procedures. Typically we want a little bit of thermal damage because with no thermal damage you'll have no hemostasis and also a little bit of thermal damage probably adds to uh, more collagen formation and actually provides more uh, thickening and tightening of the skin after a laser procedure. On the other hand, you don't want too much thermal damage because that will impede wound healing and with too much thermal damage you can actually have scarring. So the Ultra Pulse has a very, very short pulse. Uh, one of the great advantages of the Ultra Pulse is this uh, pulse durations typically are below one millisecond so that the time that the laser is interacting with the tissue is quite short so there's very little thermal damage and that allows the wound to heal in a very predictable way. Well, what I enjoy about the Ultra Pulse compared to some of the other CO2 lasers, frankly, is the speed of the device. You can do a procedure very quickly. I can do a full face CO2 laser procedure typically in 35 to 40 minutes, uh, and that's much faster than most of the competitors. And that's largely based on the sheer power of the device. So by moving fast, it allows you to do procedures actually more comfortable for the patient because when using numbing cream and other preparations, the numbing can tend to wear off during a long procedure and also patients become fidgety and fatigued with long procedures. So the ability for this laser to cover a lot of ground quickly and safely and predictably makes the procedure more enjoyable for the physician and the patient. For example, if I'm treating a leg or an arm with some of the competitor lasers, it might take me 15 or 20 minutes, whereas with the active FX, it might be five or 10 minutes. So you're cutting that treatment time down and that allows you to perform, I think, a better procedure. 
Well, the Ultra Pulse uh, actually enhances people's quality of life simply by rejuvenating the skin. So you can take a patient, for example, who has significant photo damage even though they're young, and take that patient and do a procedure that takes literally about 30 to 45 minutes to perform, and then have a three to five, maybe seven day recovery depending on how uh, aggressive you are with the settings. Uh, but the recovery is fairly quick and fairly comfortable for the patient. They just have to carve out some time to recover. And then the, on the other end, the patient comes out almost like a swan from the ugly duckling. They have very smooth skin. A lot of the fine lines are improved and also the pigmentation is restored to a more uniform type.